Hey, as you all know, there are reports of a new Ghost Recon game in development with details, including gameplay perspective, tone, graphics, and setting is leaking online. Well, let me show you the AI-created pictures of Ghost Recon Project Over. Here's the highlights of the video. Leaked details suggest the next Ghost Recon game will be gritty and controversial, drawing inspiration from the Modern Warfare series. The game will supposedly feature a switch to a first-person perspective, and it is going by the codename Project Over internally. This Ghost Recon title is rumored to release in 2025 or 2026, with a graphical style like Ready or Not in a fictional war setting mentioned in a report from Insider Gaming and swirling from industry insiders that Ubisoft are working on a sequel in one of their most popular franchises. The news originally came out a while back, but the industry is abuzz that a game is in development at Ubisoft called Project Over and it's apparently a new entry in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon series, which would not only be great for fans of the series, but it would also give Ubisoft a chance to redeem the franchise after a couple of not-so-stellar entries. Currently, the next Ghost Recon title is aimed to be released in 2025 to 2026, which will see the Ghost Recon franchise head back into a first-person perspective. New leaks suggest that the next Ghost Recon title could be returning to the franchise's roots. The last two entries in the series, Ghost Recon Wildlands and Ghost Recon Breakpoint adopted the more typical formula seen in recent Ubisoft titles, seeing the ghosts exploring large open-world maps to defeat an enemy threat such as a cartel or a group of mercenaries. And while Ubisoft was developing a free-to-play Ghost Recon Battle Royal title, this was cancelled less than a year after its 2021 announcement. As per a report from Insider Gaming, the upcoming Ghost Recon game, which is reportedly in development under the name Project Over, the new title will see the ghosts infiltrate a hostile Southeast country to carry out secret missions and to locate a traitor during the fictional name and war, so it's possible that this open-world formula may continue. Unlike recent games in the series, Project Over will not be a third-person shooter and will be returning to the franchise's first-person roots as a squad-based military tactical shooter. Insider Gaming's report went on to state that the first-person perspective will see the title taking inspiration from some of the leading first-person military games including the Modern Warfare series, Battlefield, Squad, and Ready or Not, and would be Milsim-like in nature. Titles such as Modern Warfare and Ready or Not have not sheet away from controversial missions, with the game showing terrorist attacks or active shooter situations unfolding, and the upcoming Ghost Recon is likely to cover similar dark topics during its exploration of the name in Warzone. It's also reported that Project Over will have a significant graphical improvement over its predecessors. Insider Gaming compared the game's visuals to that of Ready or Not, which were praised for their realism with Void Interactive's tactical SWAT title having been developed within Unreal Engine 4 and later Unreal Engine 5, to utilize the engine's impressive lighting and rendering power to make for even more intense, immersive, and horrifying environments. For long-term Ghost Recon fans, this news should all sound like a return to form for the series and a refreshing one after Ghost Recon Breakpoint's poor initial reception. Hopefully, with Project Over rumored to be targeting a 2025 or 2026 release date, players should hear some more official information surrounding the title from Ubisoft soon. Project Over is set during the Naaman War which is located in a hostile southeast country that has seen hundreds of thousands of people die as a result of war crimes. It's understood that the plot of the game evolves around the ghosts your team, infiltrating the war zone to carry out secret missions and to locate a traitor. Ubisoft Insider says that new Ghost Recon game is in development, Ubisoft has a lot on its plate right now. Now though, it's been claimed by prominent games industry insider Tom Henderson that a new Ghost Recon game is in development. The last one to release was Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which received very lukewarm reception back in 2019. The footage provided to Insider Gaming under the condition that the footage isn't shared or goes public shows a significant graphical improvement over its predecessors and is best compared to something to ready or not. Players take on the role of the Ghosts, an elite special forces team. The game revolves around covered operations and secret missions carried out by the Ghosts. Their primary objective is to infiltrate the war zone and locate a traitor within their ranks. Expect intense tactical gameplay where teamwork and strategy are crucial. The game draws inspiration from other successful first-person military titles like the Modern Warfare series, Battlefield, Squad, and Ready or Not. First-person perspective Project Over marks a return to the first-person perspective for the Ghost Recon franchise. Players will experience the action up close, immersing themselves in the chaos of the Naaman War. Project Over showcases a significant improvement over its predecessors. 
the visuals are comparable to games like Ready or Not, emphasizing realism and attention to detail. The game doesn't shy away from controversial content. One mission, for instance, depicts the ghosts nearly shooting a man holding a baby, mistaking the infant for a bomb. Such morally complex scenarios add depth to the narrative. Project Over is slated for release between 2025 to 2026. Fans can anticipate an intense and emotionally charged experience as they step into the boots of the ghosts. In summary, Project Over promises a gritty, realistic portrayal of warfare, blending tactical gameplay with thought-provoking moments. As players navigate the treacherous name in war, they'll uncover secrets, confront ethical dilemmas, and fight to bring justice to a war-ravaged land.